The story of nuclear power is the story of Atlanta, which is still struggling to straighten its shoulders. Nuclear reactors are seen as clean, sustainable and cheap to operate, but this technology has never managed to win the global market. Initially, the path to the development of nuclear energy was thorny due to the accident at the Three Mile Island nuclear power plant in 1979, which halted the construction of new reactors in the United States for a long period of 33 years. Seven years later, the Chernobyl disaster occurred, which shocked the whole world. But the most vulnerable for nuclear energy was the accident caused by the tsunami at the Japanese Fukushima 1 in 2011. Even without a significant number of human casualties, this event gave green politicians arguments for switching to alternative sources of electricity. Most of the old nuclear power plants were closed after the exhaustion of their resources or even earlier. But practically no new reactors were built. Only the Great War in Ukraine and the rise in oil and gas prices caused by the actions of Russia forced the world to return to nuclear energy. For the next 17 years, the World Nuclear Association predicts a 75% increase in nuclear energy production. However, there are many challenges on the way to building hundreds of new nuclear reactors. Uranium production is growing more slowly than major countries need, and nuclear fuel supply chains are already suffering from wars, regional conflicts, sanctions, and political upheavals. The world is focused on reducing carbon dioxide emissions, which contributes to the replacement of polluting coal and oil power plants, which currently provide about 40% of the world's electricity production. However, solar panels and windmills are no longer enough, as their capacities depend on weather conditions. Renewable energy sources will become reliable only after the introduction of energy storage and redistribution technologies. And for now, at least one stable permanent source of electricity is needed. Until recently, natural gas was the ideal option. Many Western and Asian countries built their energy infrastructure in this direction. However, Russia, a key gas exporter, started a war and blew up the Nord Stream pipeline, cutting off supplies to the European Union, disrupting the global gas market. Therefore, the European Union is forced to buy liquefied natural gas, which leads to an increase in prices. In recent years, states have increasingly used trade in energy carriers as a weapon. Countries that do not have their own gas and coal deposits are looking for a stable source of energy. And they find it in nuclear energy. Japan is a great example. After the accident at the Fukushima 1 nuclear power plant, the authorities closed most of the nuclear reactors and reduced the share of nuclear energy in electricity production from 30% to 4%. The energy system was rebuilt on natural gas and coal, which were bought on the world market. China is constantly growing and needs more energy, but 60% of its electricity is generated from coal. The authorities plan to abandon this type of fuel by 2060. To replace coal-fired power plants, the country plans to build up to eight new nuclear reactors each year. In total, China and India are currently building 29 of the 57 new reactors located around the world. A few years ago, the United States decided to continue the operation of its nuclear power plants and develop the technology of small modular reactors. They promise to be cheaper, easier to build and more commercially attractive. In the US, billions of dollars in state subsidies have been allocated for the construction and testing of such reactors. Nuclear energy also finds support in the European Union. A group of countries, led by France, has achieved the inclusion of nuclear energy in the list of environmentally clean sources, which will make it easier for the industry to receive funding from investors and governments. Усім дякую за перегляд. Коментуйте новини, ставте лайки, підписуйтесь на канал. Підтримуйте канал фінансово. Деталі в описі до відео. Все буде Україна.